Hey keepers, today we're going to be checking out a pair of gloves that's worn by one of my favorite goalkeepers and arguably one of the best goalkeepers in the world at this moment, the Adidas Predator Pro Iker Casillas Edition. The Adidas Predator Pro comes with a lot of features that reminds me of the older Response Pro model. It, the first thing is that it has that bandage stretch wrist strap. I love the wrist strap style. It's the perfect customizable fit and you can get the super tight fit around your hand. It's also got a neoprene wristband for a good customizable and just malleable fit so it can form around your wrist perfect. But there are some differences with the Predator Pros and the older Response Pros. The first thing is that there's a colored 3.5 millimeters of Nova Latex. I haven't used Nova Latex before, but I expect it to be something like a Mega Grip Latex or a Giga Grip Latex. Good on both durability and grip, but maybe on the lower side of durability. Uh, I really am excited to see how it works out just on durability. I've heard great things about the grip. Next is something that Adidas calls a seamless touch. That's pretty much normal on a negative cut because the seams are actually going to be on the inside of the glove. So on the outside of a negative glove, you will have no seams. Uh, just a better, tighter fit around your fingers. Something that Adidas likes to take credit for. And the last unique feature on the Predator Pros is the double thumb wrap. At first I didn't think much about the double thumb wrap, but what it does do is hold your thumbs in a unique position for a better hold on the soccer ball, and it's just more rigid. So if you're used to taking a lot of harder shots, the thumbs will not be in a crazy position and you won't get your thumb stuck uh, off on the ball. It is held in a better aligned position for a better hold on the soccer ball. So lately I've been able to take some shots from uh, a lot of good shooters and they were ripping some shots. The first thing that I've noticed is 3.5 millimeters of latex is a lot thinner and you can actually notice the difference, especially with harder soccer balls, harder shots and on colder days. Uh, I definitely felt the sting on the soccer ball normally and that's something that uh, I'm normally not used to in heavier padded gloves. Four millimeters of uh, Giga Grip latex normally covers up any type of sting but these gloves definitely can leave some sting especially if you have good strikers. But that's just because it's a very form-fitting glove with less latex on the palm but to give you a tighter fit and a closer control of the soccer ball. When you do get your hands and your fingers around the soccer ball, you can really feel like you can finger roll the ball out. And I can understand how negative uh, cut keepers can enjoy a cut that tight and that close to the soccer ball. When it came to grip, the Nova Latex did not let me down. It was able to get a good hold on most of the shots, and when I needed to hold the shot, I knew I could hold it. When I needed to fly and make sure uh, I can finger roll the ball out, I felt the Latex do its job and grip just around the ball just like I needed to. Uh, something around a Giga Grip style Latex, this is definitely top tier Latex on this glove. But my favorite thing, as always, will be the wrist strap on this pair of gloves. Uh, just like the Response Pro, this bandage strap wrist strap is the perfect style of customization. You can tighten it as much as you want. If you're a small wristed keeper, it can fit you. If you're a large wristed keeper, it can still fit you fine. And the elasticity never gives up. It's always a nice, strong fit around your hand. So it makes sure that the gloves are already form fitting and that it has a great support with pushing back on your wrists. I also came to notice that these gloves were extremely lightweight compared to my past Adidas Response Pros. I feel like they took off a lot of weight on the backhand and took a lot of stopping power out of the pair of gloves with taking off that extra 0.5 millimeters of latex on the palm. That's something that comes out when it comes to stopping power. If you're taking a lot of hard shots and you're a finger save keeper, these gloves don't have finger saves and they don't have a lot of stopping power. You need to have strong hands to use these gloves to the best of their ability. So make sure you think of that when you're going to get these gloves. You need to have good strong hands, but if you do have strong hands, they can definitely hold on to every shot and you feel like you can control every ball. I don't have any major issues, especially when it comes to the performance of the Predator Pros. I have strong hands, I love to go non-finger save goalkeeping, and I love to get the most control on the soccer ball, especially when it comes to saves where you finger roll the ball out or you have to get the perfect throw. And to get that, you need the gloves to fit the ball perfectly and get a good feel and control on it. That's something you get with the Predator Pros. Uh, I think the only issue that came up is that there's not much ventilation, so 
you do sweat a lot in the gloves uh, so get ready for that the gloves will smell bad and you will have a lot of sweaty sessions but other than that um, they did great in session awesome pair of gloves so here we have the gloves after two weeks of intense training on grass fields, in game situations, and on turf. Um, every type of situation I could think of, I've been in it with these gloves. And uh, the main thing I've noticed is that the latex is doing okay. Um, it has torn a lot on the fingertips, not that much on the palm. That shows how much I'm finger rolling the ball out, especially uh, how I'm landing. But uh, the latex can definitely last the season if it continues uh, holding up in its durability now. But because of some of the sides of the tears and how deep they are, I feel like the once the gloves start to tear some more, the durability will go down much quicker. And here, of course, we have my favorite feature on the glove is that banded wrist strap. Definitely the most customizable fit I've ever felt on any wrist strap. I love gloves that have this style of a strap. The backhand overall is okay. I have taken a really big chip on the back part of my left hand. Uh, I don't know when it happened, but um, it doesn't seem like it's going to affect the glove at all. Just shows that the glove does rip and rip deeply when it finally does start to rip. You can find the Adidas Predator Pro Ika Casillas Edition for about 80 US dollars and around 50 British pounds. Uh, I recommend them as game gloves because of the sizes of the tears once it does start tearing. Uh, they might tear and destroy very quickly and I have heard that that does happen a lot. But while they are performing, they are definitely performing at a top tier professional level. These gloves are great for negative cut goalkeepers. If you are looking for a negative cut glove with no finger saves, these are definitely the gloves to look for, especially if you're looking for a pair of game gloves. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video review on the Adidas Predator Pro Ika Casillas Edition. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. If you did, please click like. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again very soon.